In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. So that is the Hail Mary prayer. Now, what is the Hail Mary prayer? <clears throat> Where does it come from? Why do we say it? Why is it said that way? What's the history about it? Well, we're going to touch on all of those things here today on Catholic Facts. So, the Hail Mary prayer is a traditional Catholic prayer asking for the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of Jesus. Um, in Roman Catholicism, the prayer forms the basis of the Rosary and the Angelus, um, both of which obviously are prayers. The Rosary is a prayer. You can actually see my other videos on how to pray the Rosary, and, you know, and we'll touch on the Angelus prayer in a future video. Uh, the Hail Mary is composed of three parts. Uh, the first two parts are from the New Testament, uh, written by Luke, uh, which are Luke one twenty eight and one forty two. and there's a, a bonus passage that we're going to talk about in a little bit. So let's read through uh, Luke one twenty eight. Now I am using the Revised Standard Version Catholic Edition of the Bible. I think it's a really, really great translation. I'll actually do a video on this as well, um, because I think this is probably one of my most favorite uh, Bible translations um, that you can actually buy outside of maybe learning the original languages and, you know, doing your own. But even then, you've got to be careful. Um, so let's take a look at what Luke one twenty eight says. So and this is obviously when the angel Gabriel comes to the Virgin Mary. Um, this is what we call the Annunciation. So, so to preface this, uh, we can read a little bit before one twenty-eight because you can, you, you know, you can say that the that the actually the context starts at about verse twenty-six, which reads, "In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary." And he came to her and said, this is Gabriel, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. And obviously you can read on um, about how Mary sort of took this uh, and so forth. As you can see already from the prayer at the beginning of the video, how already we've introduced that part in the first part of the prayer. Uh, and then if, when we go a little bit forward to verse 142, um, you get the greeting uh, from Mary's cousin Elizabeth, who was soon to become the mother of John the Baptist. So we're going to read that now. So 142 reads, And she exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Now, put together, these two passages are the two times Mary is greeted in chapter 1 of Luke. Uh, the words Mary, as in Hail Mary, and Jesus, fruit of thy womb, Jesus, uh, along with uh, the rest of the prayer, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, Amen, were added by the church. So the three parts in total form the Hail Mary prayer. So with that in mind, let's take a little look at that bonus passage uh, that I mentioned earlier, which is Luke 1.48. Now, this is uh, what Mary is saying, okay? Uh, this is all her own words. And it starts from about verse 46, and you can read forward to 48, because 48 itself will jump out at you. Okay, so here's what it says. For he has regarded the lower state of his handmaiden. For behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. Now, 
I cannot think of another form uh, of Christianity that focuses so much emphasis on how blessed, how blessed Mary is, which is one point to consider, especially when you're, you know, you're, especially when you base your your belief on how true, you know, Catholicism is, on how biblical it is, because a lot of people will discredit Catholicism by claiming that it's not biblical, but you can't get much more biblical than, you know, doing what Mary is saying, where all generations will call me blessed. She isn't cutting it off like, oh, they're calling me blessed and it's bad. No, it's like, this is what they will call me now because she's accepted. She said yes to God and accepted the responsibility of being the mother of Jesus. At first, the prayer was known as the salutation of the Blessed Virgin and only consisted of the first two sentences. Largely, it was, especially throughout history, it was considered just as exactly that, as the, the greeting. Then you would add anything else afterwards as the prayer. So you'd be like, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And then you would insert your prayer afterwards, whatever that um, prayer may be that you would want the Blessed Virgin Mary to intercede on. As a devotional formula, like, again, we'll go into more of the history about it, the, the sort of the, the real nitty gritty on how it formed and, and what the Council of Trent's uh, involvement was. Um, I mean, I could, if, if I wanted to, I could probably spend an hour talking about just the, the Hail Mary prayer. The purposes of these videos is to try and keep it short for you. You know, so you can go away and be like, oh, hey, did you know that the Hail Mary is like based in scripture? But just to sum it up, the prayer is now a central pillar of Catholic devotion. It expresses our love for the Blessed Virgin, you know, using the words from scripture and then asks for her assistance in our hour of need. It is a beautiful prayer, one that, is, that in history dates back to at least a thousand years. And it's just something that's been endorsed by the Catholic Church, you know, and and it is, it's, 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 it's a wonderful prayer that sums up everything. You know, if we just go over it again, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Just with that prayer, we are always asking the Blessed Virgin Mary to watch over us all the time. And I can't think of anyone better than the Mother of Jesus, and who in turn is our Mother too. So anyway, that's been my video on the Hail Mary prayer. Um, yeah, it's been really, really great researching it and sort of learning a little bit more about it and how it dates right back to scripture in terms of, you know, using the words of scripture to form prayer. And you can see that by other prayers as well, like the Our Father prayer. We're going to, I'll probably touch on that soon as well. Um, these first series of videos are going to be focusing on the prayers. And yeah, with your help, I can hope to grow this channel. So feel free to leave a like, uh, please comment and, you know, please subscribe as well as hitting the notification bell to keep yourselves apprised of um, when I upload a new video. Um, it gets a little bit tricky, I, you know, to try and find the time to do these, just got a new job and everything. Um, I would really, really love it for your prayers, uh, Catholic or not, like even if you're not a Christian or whatever, if you can pray for me um, on my journey uh, to, uh, you know, discover more about truth and grow in faith and holiness towards God, you know, and I'd like to sh return that for my prayers for you to pray for me and and so that we can all grow together and just all come closer to the truth and understand what the truth is and you know and to worship god uh, as, as best we possibly can so uh, i really thank you for uh, tuning in 
and I hope to see you guys in the very next episode. So stay tuned. This is this is Lee signing off from Catholic Facts. God bless. <laughs>